hey girl hey welcome and welcome back to my channel if you're new here hey my name is monet and if not hey boo welcome back i hope you're having an amazing day because i am <laughs> i am for sure um so i literally just got home from the gym y'all and i wanted to sit down and be a little transparent about how my weight gain journey is going and all of that so here we are um hold on i'm looking at my phone y'all that's why i'm looking down so I started going to the gym in October of 2022 and I'm gonna insert a picture on one of these sides. But yeah, I had decided like, okay, I need to get my together. I want to gain some weight because I've been slim my entire life and you know, I'm a grown woman and I want to look every much like a grown woman. You know, like I want those BBL allegations, I ain't gonna lie. Like, come on, the body is, it needs to be bodying. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm going to be a gym girly and I did not know what I was signing myself up for. Like y'all, I feel like you could be all talk, but once you actually get in the gym, you realize like how challenging it really is. Like it is not easy at all. Like at all. <laughs> okay. So boom, I started going to the gym and it's the trainer there. We started chopping it up. I'm letting him know like what my fitness goes are, all of that. And he wrote down a little routine for me. Now I started following his routine, but I wasn't doing everything that he said to do. And that's probably one of the problems right there. Like this man literally told me step by step what to do. And I am still being hard headed doing my own thing. And that's part of the problem. And why I think that it took so long for me to see so much progress am i saying that right it took a long time for me to see progress really because say it's 2022 is when i started and it's just now february of 2024 and i'm now seeing the progress that i needed to see a long time ago like that don't make sense if i started going to the gym in 2022 and i'm just now seeing progress in february of 2024 like that don't even sound right like girl what were you doing not the right thing clearly i was supposed to be eating three meals a day plus a snack and then you know having a little protein shakes but i feel like that was just a little too much for me like it was a lot at one time and it was hard to stay consistent and that's probably one of my downfalls right there and why it took me so long to gain the weight that i did when i first started going to the gym my weight was really fluctuated and it still is fluctuating to this day like I think I was like 111 or 112 when I started and right now I am 120-ish. I don't know. I'm going to step on a scale when I'm done talking. But yeah, I'm around 120 right now and I'm happy with that. Like, I ain't going to lie. Like, y'all, I'm going to insert a picture right here so you can see what it looked like when I first started and what it's looking like today. Like, baby, come on. I, I know you see that difference in a picture. Like, when I first started going to the gym, I was slim. Like, slim as a little pancake. And right now, I'm like, come on, the cuff is there. I, come on, the cuff is there. You see that. I see that everybody sees that and i'm really so excited about that like it's the small gains that is really getting me and i feel so happy to see that growth because this is what i've been waiting for the entire time to be honest like this growth right there okay it's really hard to be disciplined and i think right now is that's where i'm just starting to get into it like i feel like when you decide to do something big like this you have to be right as a whole basically like it starts right here mentally so if you're not good up top then the rest of your body will not follow if that makes sense like you have to be in a good head space to want to decide to be consistent when doing anything because you have to have that discipline like i make sure that i get up three times a week i'm trying to aim for five but right now you know with my schedule with work and all of that the kids i go to the gym three times a week but i do want to start going five but regardless i get up every morning after dropping my kids off at school and i go to the gym get my little workout in i be in there for like an hour hour and a half you know nothing more than that because i feel like it's pushing it at that point but you know i really be doing my thing and i found the workouts that work for me and i just go from there Something else that I'm happy to be doing is taking pictures. Like when you take pictures, you can really see the growth like firsthand because I feel like you could get in your head and be like, oh, um, I'm not 
making as much progress, you know, nothing's changing. But if you were taking pictures and videos the entire time, you will see exactly what's changing, what's growing. And it really just makes me feel good to look back and see like all of my progress. Like that's just how I'm feeling right now. I'm ecstatic. I'm happy. And I really want to share that with y'all. So I am, but I feel really good about that. So along my journey, I also realized that I need to stay off of social media. Like, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Like, I stay on TikTok, YouTube, and I be looking at all the other gym girlies trying to get inspired. But I feel like, as of now, it's doing more harm than good because it's terrible to compare yourself to other people. I can see these girls, and they have these amazing gym transformations, y'all. Like, they, they look so good. But then, you know, I'm reading the comments and people asking questions, and they're like, oh, well, you know, how long did this take you? And they be like, three months. And I'm like, three months? Three months? It took you three months to get from this to that, and where it took me, what, a year to gain not even 10 pounds? Like, baby, what? Clearly, I'm doing something wrong. Like, I'm not doing something right. I'm doing everything but the right thing at this point. Like, huh? But I had to take a step back and realize, hey, you know, I cannot compare my journey to other people. They may be in a different part in their life where, you know, they bulk it. They know what to do. They doing a damn thing but me you know I, i'm just taking it slow i had to take my time so i gotta realize that i can only be myself i cannot be this girl on tiktok that got the good body but you know i could get there but i'm just not there yet and that's okay so i'm just realizing that comparison is a thief of joy and you should never ever compare your journey to the other person's you should never compare your journey to the next person's because you don't know what they're doing to get to that point and that's okay but that's it for this video y'all like i'm just really having a lot of realizations and thinking on you know what i can do differently and what i can change all of those things just having a, a lot of reflections right now and that's just something that i felt like sharing today but that's it for this video, y'all. It wasn't supposed to be a long one. It's a shorty. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye. Mwah.